Hey loves, it's Britt and in this video I'm continuing my Moon Through the Houses series in Sinistry. So where our moon, our emotional energy, our instinctual self, our inner feminine self falls into a partner's horoscope or theirs falling into ours. So in this video, I'm going to talk about moon in the 10th house. So if your moon is falling into partner's 10th house or theirs into your 10th house. Now, the first, fourth, seventh, and 10th house tend to be especially significant in sinistry. The fourth and 10th specifically is kind of like the parental axis or like the um, family lineage energy axis. Um, and so the 10th can represent, in some cases, and there's disagreements about this, which one is the mother or the, or the father. Um, and I think it can be a little bit of both. So it's, it's basically just like the familial energy, the energy we were brought up in. Now the 10th is more of the public energy that we were brought up in the, the, you know, what we looked like to the world, um, from a familial sense. So when someone's moon is falling into our 10th house, they tend to actually see us more um, as that, our public image self, or what we could be, because the midheaven is something that we are striving to be, the midheaven, the 10th house cusp. So when someone's moon is falling into your 10th house, emotionally um, by just being themselves and um, you know sharing their deepest heart and inner self with us they actually help us um, with our career the midheaven can represent our career um, but even more than that like on a spiritual level our true calling so this does tend to be a significant overlay um, although at times the moon person um, could maybe feel that, um, you know, they're not, and this could go both ways, actually. This overlay, along with other Earth House overlays, so like the second and the sixth also, sometimes there can be an impersonal quality, you know, a quality of like, you know, someone is being used. Um, so in this case, with the 10th house, sometimes we could feel like, you know, our energy and for the moon person, our emotional energy is just being used to um, climb the ladder of success or like um, this relationship is benefiting the house person from a more external standpoint. Now, if the, the moon person's moon is like in a sign like Capricorn or even Leo, um, you know, a sign that is more naturally focused on outward appearances rather than like internal um, emotional states and like, um, I mean, the moon is always our internal emotional state, but some moons really um, feel emotional security and, and serenity from being seen by the public and, and you know, the image, right? So if the moon person has a moon like that, or even a moon um, afflicted with Saturn or connected to Saturn in some way, they might like um, this overlay and the feeling of like publicity that it brings. Like sometimes when we have 10th house overlays, uh, the planet person can see, and it can switch to, it can go both ways. The planet person can see the house person as like a celebrity or something and, um, vice versa though like the uh the house person can definitely see the planet person as someone who um is popular or um the way that they're seen in the public eye is like attractive to them so when it's moon though it's more um the inner self the emotions of that person are seen as something that are beneficial and sometimes um the house person can actually feel like the moon person is really one of their biggest helpers in life. Like the moon person can intuitively sense the house person's higher calling and help them achieve that without really any effort, just by their presence. And because the moon is such a natural part of us, so 
Um, this can be a helpful overlay in um, getting the house person, you know, more clear on like, you know, what they're really here to do and, and like for certain Capricorn types or Saturn types, it like this could be um, a pretty comfortable feeling and a pretty useful feeling like, okay, I found someone who can, you know, help me get there, which a lot of relationships, you know, um, a lot of people, and even unconsciously, this can be happening, you know, there is an element of Saturn bringing glue and long longevity in a relationship and kind of 10th house energy of status. And, and like, you know, um, a lot of people do enter in relationship for enhancement of public image. Um, and this could be sort of shown by 10th house overlays sometimes. Um, and depending on what planet it is in the 10th house, it's can depend on like, whether this is um, public image enhancement or um, if it's a certain planet that doesn't do well in the 10th house or is negatively aspected in the 10th house, um, it, it can show that the house person feels like their image is not enhanced, you know, the opposite, like they're kind of, yeah, not um, making them look good, right? So, um, and that can be very important to ultimately the success of a relationship, you know, like, do you make me feel like I look good, right? And that, it sounds superficial, but, you know, when we're talking earth signs, we're talking even Leo, like, the so signs that are quite focused on the image, right? Um, or Venus signs, even Libra, right? Like, it's, uh, these things are important. Taurus, right? I, I did say earth signs. So, yeah, it's an interesting overlay. It also could have remnants, like I said at the beginning, of like a familiar bond, like the moon person can really um, feel like a parental figure or um, yeah, like even uh, like a family type bond. So there can be similarities in like upbringing with the fourth and tenth house there. Um, but this doesn't really show like deeper emotional support or comfort, like moon falling into the water houses. It is more a focus on the, the outward with this relationship, which depending on the personalities, this could be good and it could be significant. So, um, but if we're talking people that are like moon types, you know, cancer or water signs, you know, this, overlay a moon falling into partner's 10th house, it might not feel emotionally supportive enough. You know, we might feel like an object or a status symbol and it just might not be deep enough. But depending on the people, um, it can be a good overlay. And like depending on the rest of this industry as well, you never just want to isolate one overlay like and say the whole relationship is good or bad. You just kind of look at everything. Um, but that's kind of the nature of this one. <laughs> so, yeah, I'd love to know your experiences of this overlay. Was it like that? Was it nothing like that? How did it feel for you? Are you a fan of 10th House Sinistry? And, um, yeah, I do offer one-on-one -on -one sessions. My links are below. I offer two types of sessions. I do a personal natal chart session and also a relationship session. So you can check that out below. Okay. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. Bye.